The polar regions of the Earth lie in the frigid zone. In these locations, temperature drops below zero Fahrenheit, making them one of the most severe habitats in the world. Vegetation is rare. Tall trees cannot grow. So the animals mostly depend on the sea for food. These inhabitants have to struggle hard for survival. Those who cannot succeed, die out. The fauna of the Arctic comprises of many mammals and birds, few amphibians and only one reptile. There are numerous insects in this area. The animals do have some special characteristics for adaptation in such cold climate. The luxurious fur of the Arctic fox protects it from cold. During winter, its fur is white, but in summer, it becomes darker. The feathers on the snowy owl grow as long as to cover its beak and legs, its talons perfectly shaped for gripping small lambings. Muskox looks like a small, shaggy buffalo. It is one of the only Arctic mulates. The most popular and iconic species of the Arctic, however, is the one and only polar bear. It is the largest extant member of the family with Sidae and also the largest extant terrestrial carnival. And here in the Arctic, they are the apex predators on land. And for polar bears, the favorite prey is a seal. Preferably ringed seals. And if one of these animals is not alert, the bear will take advantage of the situation. Along with red seals, the polar bears eat bearded, hooded, and harp seals, seabirds, carcasses of gnarls and belly of whales and occasionally young walruses. These bears have a top speed of 40 kmph. Also, the polar bears are excellent swimmers. What are the adaptations in the polar bear? First of all, their white fur helps them to camouflage. Their fur and fat help to keep them warm and the soles on its feet prevent it from slipping in the ice. But no animal in the Arctic can look more terrifying than the walrus. This giant is the only living member of the family Adobeni Bay. The most spectacular thing about these mammals is their tusks, which are giant cane 9 teeth and some grow to about more than 30 inches in males. These are used to poke holes from below in the frozen Arctic sea so that air can pass from the winter hunting in the sea, to drag themselves out of the water, and to protect their territory by fighting against other walruses. The walrus feed on a whopping 3,000 to 6,000 clams in one feed. They can often be seen resting on ice floating in the sea, warming themselves up in the sun. Walruses use their nose to root around the seafloor, searching for large shellfish like clams, crabs, sea urchins, mollusk and snails. In summer, the Arctic tundra is thriving with life. The snow is no longer there and low-growing plants like bear berries and reindeer moss are present on the ground. Here there is another predator. The Stella's seagull. This powerful bird is here because it's attracted by the rich coasts which are full of fish. Reindeer herds migrate long distances to reach the tundra in the summer. Here in Antarctica, however, there are different varieties of animals. These are the emperor penguins, the largest extant penguin species in the world. Along with the Atli, Gentoo and Chinstrak penguins, they are the only penguin species to nest on the Antarctic continent. These are the emperor penguin chicks. The male penguin looks after the egg and the chick. The chick stays on its father's feet for several months. If it falls on the cold ice, it will be frozen to death. These are the Gentoo penguins, 30 inches tall, the eggs of whom serve as a nice meal to the Antarctic skewer. This bird lives on or near the ice in Antarctica and nests at the coast. Talking of seals, Antarctica boasts six kinds on and around it. The largest is the southern elephant seal which is the world's largest seal. The fearsome leopard seals spell threat for the penguins. These flightless birds are one of the favorite meals of these seals. However, there are very few Antarctic land-based animals. One of them is this small creature. This is a spring tail, a primitive wingless insect which has a spring-like organ under the abdomen that enables it to leap when disturbed. This species is native to Antarctica. These frozen habitats have harsh conditions and those who want to survive here have to adapt accordingly. 
Global warming has badly affected these regions. The ice in Antarctica is melting. This spells threat for the species living there. What we can do to prevent it is avoid using car for short distances and try to create awareness about this. Only then can these wonderful regions be saved.